Hello there, puzzle friends again. We are here today with another video of part 6 of puzzles. And today I have somewhat a different video for you. This is a, a video about my entire jigsaw puzzle collection. Well, what it means, entire jigsaw puzzle collection. This is, um, these are the jigsaw puzzles that I have, that I have put inside this uh, spreadsheet, as you see. Uh, what, but what is this spreadsheet, which actually is the video about? This is a spreadsheet that I made. Uh, it, it did take some time and it's uh, not ready. What it means it's not ready, uh, it's not ready for the matter that I keep putting inside jigsaw puzzles as I buy them, but that's not what I meant when I said it's not ready. It's a it's, um, Excel, Excel, it's a spreadsheet that helps me organize my jigsaw puzzles better, to browse them better, and to see some very interesting stats about the jigsaw puzzles that I have, that I have puzzled, that are waiting for me, and stuff like this. But you will understand everything as we carry on explaining to you what I actually have done here. This is something I did uh, come up with in some time, I think, last year or something like this. And uh, it got, it, it developed. And uh, what I mean developed, you will see probably, I will tell you in the, um, in the meantime, we will see later. That's what I also mean, it is not ready. It's always updated and it's always, I always add extra new features which says, ah, this would be interesting. And then I put it inside. But having that said, uh, what we see here, here we see a spreadsheet. Um, this is a free form of Excel. It's very similar to Excel. I don't know what the differences are, but this one is a free one. So everybody can have it. So, uh, first thing first, we have here um, just the numbering. This actually is not very, um, how can I say, useful, but either way, I have done it. Uh, we have the title, which is important. Here, the Wedding of Kana, Hemisphere Maps, Pagoda Temple. Uh, of course, I have made here a picture, so I can quickly see what's inside the picture. What's the picture of the jigsaw puzzle? This was uh, was quite tricky to put inside, but it's very very helpful. What I mean quite tricky, uh, it's not that difficult to put a picture inside, but I did know I did need to find out how can I put it inside so that it's not very big in size and, how, and that's not overlapping when we use uh, the filters and so on as we will see later. So the picture, num the number of the pieces, which yes, we can see here, but here, for example, you cannot see it. So I have here a number of the pieces. And then we have a column called place. What this actually means, this is a, a, for the organization, as I said, because I have so many puzzles, I cannot put them all in one place. So I have three different places. Well, four for that manner, but the fourth one is somewhat different, as we will see. Uh, where I put my puzzles. And luckily, we do have the three first puzzles are in three different places, as you can see. Uh, four, if you, this is the five, fifth place, let's say. The wall, this one is hanging on my wall. This is. Uh, I display this all the time, and this is the fifth one. Well, then we have the dimensions. Well, very easy to understand what this is. This is in centimeters. The, uh, detail: if we have some th extra info, uh, some th extra information about the jigsaw puzzle, this one, for example, um, has two bags. This one had four bags. There may be stated that it's a wooden puzzle, there may be stated that it's uh, a 3D puzzle or stuff like this. Here we have a column that says ready. Uh, this is also somewhat self-explanatory. Ready if I have already puzzled actually the jigsaw puzzle or not. The 6,000 uh, I have puzzled it 
uh, this one I haven't puzzled it. This one also not. Here we have an interesting uh, fixture. Um, it's the cut. If this is a grid cut or a smart cut. Most of the time I have uh, put this uh, already the information on some jigsaw puzzles. I'm not sure what for uh, what they are when it comes to cut, and I have uh, left this blank. But I will fill it as I will open the puzzle and puzzle it. Uh, then we have some interesting information that helps me organize the content that I create. For example, I have made a video. This is says video. This will be probably also expand because it says video. Yes, the, you will, this does exist in a video, but not in a video as the second one, as the 6001. The 6001 is one I have made, as it means it appears in more than one video. The first one appears only in a video, uh, a video that's a puzzle hole, but this one is more in detail. So I will probably need to put also some extra information there. This is the Instagram. If I made a picture uh, that I have posted on Instagram, quite, quite simple. Simple. Uh, this is if I have put the jigsaw puzzle actually on the side, which sadly I don't have so much time to put all the jigsaw puzzles on online. Uh, this is just the shop where I bought them. This is the price where I bought them. I forgot to put the price here. I have to check my emails. And here, as you will see, we have here, they are always uh, I have freezed, freezed these uh, cells that I can always see them. So I, I know ah, this is information is about this puzzle. Um, frozen are also these two first rows because uh, as you can probably imagine there are not only three jigsaw puzzles, there are more. So having that aside, this is uh, the date actually. The date I bought the puzzle, it's divided in three brackets because I wanted to quickly see uh, how many jigsaw puzzles I bought for example in April in April or how many did I bought in summer or something like this so I I did this uh, staggering let's, let's say the year the day the day the month and the year and this is also a date the day the month and the year which all all, all together here, the day that I actually puzzled the puzzle, if I have puzzled it. This one, for example, I have puzzled it and I have put in that side. As I said, these two are missing. I have to check my emails and um, where I can probably see uh, how, when I did buy them. Uh, this is value. This is because I don't have any data in there this is this is an interesting one waiting time days this is uh, just for fun how many days did I have this puzzle waiting until I actually puzzled it here you cannot see anything because I don't have put this in the inside and this is one something that I put, did put uh, now as I say it's always expanding puzzling time in hours uh, I can also put this one find it on, uh, on my data and put the, the time that I took for this one. And this one is something that also helps me a candidate. When I'm uh, when you have so many puzzles, you have the problem, uh, which puzzle should I puzzle next? I had a friend of mine that says it's like opening the refrigerator and you don't, don't know what to eat. Well, it, is, it was said in a funny way, but I did get her point. So I browse through them and they say yes I could puzzle this one yes yes and then I write here for example yes and then I use my filters and say ha ah, I have yet 15 jigsaw puzzles that are um, let's say candidates as I have stated here there and then I do say ah I will do this one this time but uh, and that's actually what's all about and as you can see you see here some numbers 
uh, wait, I can explain to you what uh, they are. Let's see if let's do this. So, so you can see also the waiting time. Ah, we can do this in another way. So we go here, and if you see here, they are some days. All these are days that actually from puzzles that I have made. Let's say kind of let's say this one for example. This one is a uh, the viaduct. Ah, this was a beautiful uh, falcon. So uh, I, this is the day I bought it, and this is the day I made it. So if you subtract these two dates, you get this number. So this means this jigsaw puzzle was on the shelf for 158 days and the, the timings here this one was for 139 days this one is actually not online yet uh, it will be uh, online and this is the time I have made to puzzle it all these are geeky numbers, so to say, nerdy numbers. I don't know what the right expression for it is. And these are these are very useful, these filters, because let's say we want to see uh, how many jigsaw puzzles we have that are, let's say, 3,000 pieces. So we do this one, and you see only the 3,000 pieces. Some of them you may recognize from my... Uh, Puzzle holes. Ah, here is it was for, exa for example this one. I did say in detail that's Lord of the Rings. And what's interesting also is I have made these are um, the last additions. Let's say that I put in the puzzle. These are the titles and above the titles because I only I wanted to see them all the time. I have put an extra row which has some interesting details. What does what this means is uh, here is the sub count which means twelve which says twelve. Twelve is the number of the jigsaw puzzles that I have that are three thousand pieces. The count is uh, how many jigsaw puzzles are actually on the list at this moment. And as you can see, they are 398. Yes, there are a lot. There are actually more than four, 500. Uh, um, I have everything said. Four, uh, 400 because uh, there are three puzzles that I have arrived, but I haven't put them inside here yet. This is the subtotal of the pieces which actually um, is 36,000 pieces are the, uh, if I add all the 3,000 piece, six, uh, pieces jigsaw puzzles uh, this total is wrong I have to calculate it again so let's see them all again uh, this actually is double the size because I have also made a subtraction on the bottom. Having that said, let's go on the bottom and see what I mean. Here you see the, the list is quite long. So, this one. These are the number of the pieces that we actually have here. The number of the pieces we actually have here. So, as you can see, there are quite a few. Let's say this one is wrong because it's it's also adding this number to it, as it's the double. But I will fix this also. So, but then again, I have to answer a question that came to from a subscriber that is uh, quite active on the comments. Uh, do I have actually 
do I think I will actually puzzle all these jigsaw puzzles? Well, this is a very good question. I hope I will do it. But then again, there are so many and they take so much time that uh, chances are that some have to wait very long. This is why I also did this one uh, with the waiting days, this uh, column. But we can go here. Let me see where it is. Here. On this one, which says ready. And let's see how many jigsaw puzzles we actually have done. We filter only this item, and now we have only the jigsaw puzzles that we have already made. Most of them, if not all of them, they are on the channel some of them they may not be in the channel because I puzzled them before I actually had the idea to do a YouTube channel and here you see the magic number 78 from 398 which means which means we do have yet at this point of this video 320 jigsaw puzzles waiting for us to puzzle. So as you can see, when you have a, uh, a wish, ah, do this puzzle first or do this puzzle first, I do take account these wishes, but it may take some time before I actually have the chance to get to them. Well, that was it from me from today. Thanks again for watching. Happy puzzling, stay safe, happy puzzling, and until next time, goodbye.